the Shiny Squirrel Podcast with Grandma Matata. She's back, Grandma. How are you? Do you like the song I picked out? Grandma, this, what song? This, this song that's playing, it's by Journey. It's called Be Good to Yourself. I can't even hear it. It's a rip and roar in 80s gym. Stadium rock. Don't you? There is music playing. Grandma, there's music playing. Yes, can't you hear it? No. It's like you're in a stadium and it's Journey live. Uh, it's grandma. I got a necklace. All right, let's let me turn off the music. I got this old necklace. Grandma, that that's an old grandma. Is that a necklace from the Titanic? Yep, I was about to say that. You mean I can touch and look at this neck? Nope. You're not gonna let me touch the Titanic necklace. No, it's and not that blue one. That blue one actually never existed. Just like no, now. But, but this one has existed because it's real. It's here. So, when did you have this when you were two years old on the Titanic? Yep, Boo Boo gave it to me. Stop. Alright, Grandma, why, tell me about the, give me the whole story about the Titanic di- diamond jewelry you got here. So, when it was sinking, Boo Boo, I found Boo Boo. I know, you found Boo Boo in the Titanic. But she was actually, she was part of a rich family. How rich of a family? So rich that she was wearing this. Boo Boo was wearing, uh, I mean, the dog was wearing the necklace. Yep, as her collar. As her collar, okay. It's a pretty big collar. They wrapped it around two times. Two t- okay, two times. I got gotcha. you. Okay. But their family was super rich. Uh huh. And so when Boo Boo found me because I was trying to escape, and then I saw this cute, adorable puppy that didn't know how to swim that was drowning, and I just had to save the puppy. What do you mean you were trying to escape the Titanic? It was sinking. You were two years old. I was trying to escape, but I didn't have any paper there. You, I, you, I, you didn't have any paperwork to be on the Titanic? No, I, no. You were smuggled on the Titanic? Yes, that's why I'm Oh, I okay. A, I have a boarding pass that wasn't even mine, so I had to pretend like it was. That's why we have no paperwork and we don't know how old you are. Correct? Yes. Uh, that's what I thought. Okay, so, continue your story. I was trying to go out the boat because I, I don't know how to swim. And then I found this puppy drowning because she didn't know how to swim. And but I, I've seen it before because... Um, and like Lassie, Sadie saved you on the Titanic. I went to save the little puppy who couldn't swim. Uh-huh. And then yes. automatically she just started swimming. So I got on her back to swim you away. Swam you away. And then and she gave me this. And then now you're wearing the, the uh, pendant is what it is. Yep. And it has real pearls on it. I suppose next you're going to tell me about the time in the 1940s when you were at the riots and a bullet was shot at you, and a bullet hit the chain on that pennant and saved your life, right? No, that never happened. <sighs> Grandma, you're full of tall tales. Then make one up. But, but, this is what happened. She was so rich. She was part of the richest family on the boat. <sighs> Grandma, tell, right, tell me some more. Tell me, tell me another story before we start popped music. She was so... She was part of the richest family in the entire New York City. Are we talking rich like Trump, Buffett? No. They have... Bill Gates. How how rich? They have 72 boats that they bought themselves, and they have five houses. And and they're all mansions. They're all mansions? I believe those are called steam liner ships. No. I mean, they have five houses. Five houses. They are mansion houses. Okay, then how many boats do they have? 72. 72. What kind of boats are these? Cruise line ships? Um, they're about the same as the Titanic, but a little bit smaller. And how many of these still exist today? Only 700. I'm just kidding. Only 70. Only two got destroyed by Pearl Harbor that they put in in Hawaii. You were at Pearl Harbor? Uh Uh-huh. You were at Pearl Harbor during the attack? Okay, Grandma, tell me, what was your job? Well, you... they have 72 boats all over the world, and two of them were in Pearl Harbor. Now they only have oh, wait, 70, this, was this two what... of them are bombed. Was this when you were in the military? Uh, no. You were, too, in the military once. No, that's where I met Boo-Boo. You told me you were in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines League. Boo-Boo, get your scarf back on. You're going to get cold. Grandma, you're going to have to tell me more about this being in the war sometime. Boo-Boo is so cute. You're going to have to get her one day, because you can not know her job out. Grandma... It's time for Popped Music. This is where we're going to play Grandma two cuts of music, and she's going to tell us what she thinks of them. Because she's so old that she can actually hear it when she wants to. Right, Grandma? 
Grandma likes pop music, because Grandma's a young grandma, right? Yep. Okay, Grandma, here comes the first one. This is a, this is a girl group. I picked this one out for you, okay? Bye, Sadie Boo! <laughs> I think you're going to like this one. Actually, one girl. What was that for, Grandma? She didn't leave you. She just got bored. She wasn't getting it. Grandma! All right, so what do you think of this song, Grandma? Are you even listening to it? It's called... What do you think of this? Reminds me of my Aunt Barbara. Why does it remind you of your Aunt Barbara? Sounds like her. Sounds like her? If your Aunt Barbara was singing, this is what it would sound like? Okay. Yes. So the song is called Please Mr. Postman. What do you think of the, the woman singing? Can't hear, can't hear a shoulder shrug, Grandma. Boo boo! Grandma, what do you think of this? Boo boo! Grandma, what do you think of this? Grandma, it's by the Carpenters. I don't like it. I mean, I do like it. It's a nice song. Grandma, this is the best part. It's got a saxophone solo. Come here, boo boo. Grandma, are you... Okay, enough of that one. Grandma, you ready for the next one? Yes, one second. I'm trying to get Boo Boo up here. Yeah. Grandma. Get up here. Get up here. Am I going to have to play that song again? No, I already heard it. I you already heard I it. I like it because it sounds like my aunt. Okay, so you like it so it sounds like your aunt. Okay, you ready for the next one? Uh-huh. This one's, this one's not a woman not singing, but it's a, tr it's a trio. Aunt, this next song came, comes from the si same time period that the first song came from for our opening theme show from Journey, but it's not Journey. Okay, here we go. Except I gotta cue it up a little more. Hang on here. It's a group from England. What do you think of that? Probably need to hear a little more of it. Talks about the beach. Talks about a dog. Maybe the dog's boob. Sadie, boo boo. Pretty good song. I'd like it. No. You don't like it? No. Who, who do you think it is? Who do you think it is, Grandma? Grandma, wake up. I don't like it. Oh, Grandma, it's Genesis. Phil Collins and company. Mike Rutherford and Tony Banks. I can't dance. Grandma, stop doing that. Do, Grandma, okay, let's rate the first song. What do you I don't think? like it. The first song, Please Mr. Postman. What do you think of that song? How would you I rate like that? that one. How do you rate that? Give us your, your quirky rating system. Two thumbs. No. Two thumbs going up and then one thumb goes down. Is that what nope. you thought of that one? Nope. Then how then how do you rate? Right, two thumbs. One oh two thumbs just wandering around. No, they're going up. Oh, they're going up. Okay. Looks like a thumb war. Alright, so please Mr. Postman gets rated a thumb war. That's an interesting rating system, Grandma. Alright, what would you rate Genesis, I Can't Dance? How do you rate that one? A confused thumb war? I think you like that song, but you just don't want to tell me, do you? No, I really don't like that song. Why? It's like... It doesn't sound that bad. Come on now. It's no. Done. It couldn't. It sounds like they just found a song in the trash and then they just put words to it. Well, yeah, you do you do realize that it's, they improvise most of their lyrics. They go into the studio and they just come with some ideas and then they write the music and then whatever comes out of their That's mouth. That's pretty just, gross. I hope the camera's on my face. Why is... Is the camera on my face? camera's on your face, yes. So, oh, so I wanted to hear more why you don't like Genesis, I Can't Dance. No, I had enough to say. I don't need to say anymore. Oh, Grandma. Okay. I had nothing else to say. Well, you're an important grandma with so many things that you don't want to say. What do you want to say? Grandma, I'm not, uh, I don't even have grandchildren. You're still Grandma Matata material. All right, you ready for the next one, Grandma? I just remembered something. What did you remember? I don't have grandchildren. I'm not a grandma. Because you're a seasoned citizen. What's that? Because I see you saying this. That means someone who is old enough to have to use the crosswalk twice. And usually needs a Cub Scout or a Boy Scout to walk you across the street. Use it two times? What? Because you're so slow, Grandma. 
right? Right? That makes no sense. It Not makes the fastest sense. person in the world. Tell me what makes you the fastest grandma in the world. I'm not grandma, I said person. Per what, what else? I'm not old. You are too. I'm only 70. You no, seven. you're not 77. You were two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm only 20. Yeah, 20 times what? Five, six. 20 plus five. <sighs> I wish we had documentation to find out how old you really were. I ripped up my birth certificate. I shredded it too. You shredded it before you got on the ship. That's yeah, why you didn't have I your paperwork. I can't remember how old I am. And can eat. The only person who knows how old I am is who? The boo boo. Oh, jeez, not the dog again, boo -boo. Grandma. Boo -boo's it's time, Grandma. It's time for the culture report, the news report. My it's name's not even Petonia. You're Grandma Tata. Hi, Kakuna Matata. Yeah, I know. Now it's time for the culture report with Grandma. I know this it's is Matata. This is where we're going to give Grandma two stories to choose from, and she gets to pick which one she wants to hear first. She will ultimately hear both of them. I don't okay? think I took my medicine today. I think my name is Grandma Matata Petunia. You didn't take your medicine today? I think it's Grandma Matata Petuda. Matuda? So, no. What do you think your name Petunia is? Petunia Matata. It's my ugly sister's name. No. Well, Grandma, Grandma Petunia is getting back in town this week. She'll be back on the podcast next week. But you are too, still. Ew! Oh, you love your sister and you know it. Okay, Grandma, you have your choice of Joyride, Jail Ride, or Brazing. Brazing. You want to hear Brazing first? Yep. I will read you Brazing. This is boring already. This is not boring already. It is. Old people like you like different things than young people. You need to hear this story. You're I older than me, Grandma. Grandma. Vegetables. Considering, you know, I think you are a vegetable I'm, today. No, I'm actually a vegetarian, so... I know you're a vegetarian. That's why we bring you vegetarian food. No, that's, I'm, I'm seriously a vegetarian in real life. That's, I know. You, that's why I, I, well, not vegetarian. That's your religion. I eat only eggs and salmon. You, you, that's your church religion, isn't it? Vegetarian, correct? I don't go to church. I only go to church during Christmas. You go climb in the refrigerator. I've seen you climb in the refrigerator and eat vegetables in there. And you go, close the door. I'm in church right now. I've seen you do that I, several times. I only eat eggs. Oh, Grandma. All right, here's the story Salmon called... Salmon and green food. Well, Grandma gives her commentary. I will read the story. Oh, I have something really important to say. Here's, and this is true. This okay, is super what, true. What's, what's super important to Did say? You, okay, so my friends, when I went rafting, mm -hmm. you lost me. Mm hmm. Obviously, my one of your imaginary my trips. My friend's parents could not eat my ice cream cake that I made because. Uh huh. Did, did you overcook it? No. I think my, they you couldn't. Did. They, she couldn't eat my ice cream cake because she's a vegetarian. <sighs> Guess why she couldn't eat my ice cream cake? Because there was no vegetables in it. Because it was dairy. Knows that she can eat dairy. But she couldn't eat your ice cream cake. No, she could have ate it, but guess she, why? Why? I guess because she was a she. She's was, a vegetarian, right? She she, she, she probably eat has meat. She probably Do you has. Think there's meat in an ice cream? She's cake? allergic to milk. No. What was it then? You know how vegetarians don't eat meat. Yes, I know that. There was meat. You did not. All right, you put meat. <laughs> all right, hold. Before we get back to the before we get back to the story of the no, culture listen, listen, report, listen, listen. I am listening. I want to hear about no. you putting meat in the ice cream no, cake. No, I did put meat in the ice cream cake. I didn't know this. Tell me about it. But then we looked it up, and it was true. Mm -hmm. So she's a vegetarian. She knows everything about being vegetarian. Okay. There's human meat in Oreos. I didn't know that. You okay? Now we got human meat in Oreos. Yeah, I didn't know that. I even searched for it. I was like, it can't be in the cookie, so it must be in the cream. In the cream, there's yeah. there's human. That's why she couldn't eat my ice cream cake. Cause there's hu there's human meat in Oreos. I human never meat knew. in Oreos. I never knew Oreos had human meat in them. I did not know Oreos had human meat in them eat either. People. That's disgusting. I don't want to eat people either, so I won't be eating an Oreo anymore. I still will, but but I'll still eat ice cream cake. Yep. Okay. Back to the story, okay? This but look is, it up, it's true. This is Brazing. A woman in Germany, near Hamburg, Germany, about 45 minutes north, was saved by her Wonder Bra. 
Apparently she had stumbled riding her bike into a hog hunting festival and a bullet was fired and it ricocheted off of the boar and hit her, hit her in her underwire bra, thus saving her life. Didn't kill her, but the bullet left a nasty bruise. So this lady saved her life because of an underwire bra. That's what we call the story Brazing because of ricocheted. Read it again. Read it again. All right, so... Let me read it. Let you read it? Okay, you read it. The bras metal under while appeared to have stopped the bullet, mm -hmm. leaving the woman with a nasty bruise instead of a gunshot wound. Mm -hmm. Police found a dead boar. Dead boar, a wild hog. In the line of fire, and I believe the bullet may have struck the woman after ricocheting off the animal. The hunters called off their hunt after a woman's husband spotted them in the neighborhood in a neighboring field and told them what had happened. Good Bush Criminal Commission is investigating the incident on suspicion of injury Authorities are also looking into whether they were appropriate signs of warning past bad bad hunt according to the telegraph. Is there a picture? There's no picture. There's just a picture of a, of a wonder bra at the top of the page. Where? Keep going. Keep going right there. That saved a woman's life. And that all happened in Germany. How did that save her life? Because under wire bras, I guess there's a piece of wire under there, and the bullet hit that. Gate left her with a nasty bruise. A woman mailed her life to her bra after she unknowingly rode her bicycle through a boar hunt, and under route deflected the hunter's bullet. Police said the 41-year-old vacationer, who did not name, they didn't name, was on a bike ride with her husband in the town mm -hmm. of Gadesbush. Some town north of Hamburg, Germany. That's all I call it. Yep. About 45 miles northeast of Hamburg on August 2nd. The cyclist heard rifle fire when then the woman felt a sharp pain in her chest. Woman, the police spokesman, Andre to old I'm trying to itch my face, can you stop it? Well we can't hear you when you're right hanging over your mouth. Newspaper Grandma. and that's all I need to know. That's all you need to know. Is that enough for the culture report this week, Grandma? Cause you know what you did, Grandma? You read the news story culture report by yourself for the first time. Ha ha. I'm doing the next one. What's the, where's the You want next the next one? one? I'll get you the next one. You want No, you're gonna show me how to do it. Push push that button right there. You push again. And then push this top one right there. Okay, this one come. Oh, there you go. This is from. Guess what? Get Florida man Remem arrested. Hold twice. it! Hold it! Hold it! Remember how you called Florida Floor Duh? Because we were talking about how all the crazy stuff happens in Florida. Yeah, and floors are disgusting. Dude. Yes. <laughs> okay, Florida man arrested twice in two weeks for joyriding on Giovanni. Go ahead and read it. A Florida man is behind bars for a second time in the past two weeks over the same crime, driving a vehicle on the lawn of a on a county de detention center. Yes. What's that? That's like a, a jail, a holding pen. A holding pen. Michael Lee Robertson's 32 of Brooks Hill was arrested on Sunday after he drove in a SUV into the jail's retaining wall. The Tampa Bay Times report. Please said the, the jail law. A little, little louder, Grandma. <clears throat> Please said that jail law joyride caused a two-inch natural gas line to rupture, prompting the evacuation of nearby business. Evacuation. Then. I know you know how to read that, evacuation Grandma. Evacuation of nearby business. Then, when the Deputies checked the SUV. They found a suspicious Deputies. device. Deputies. Sorry. <laughs> they found a suspicious device and called in the 
insert a side truss. What word is that, Grandma? You know, I know you're not used to this language. But Citrus County. Citrus County Bomb Squad mm -hmm. for an assistant. Advice turned out to be nothing. Lando Lake's past reports Roberts was taken to a hospital to be treated from injuries from the crash. Ew. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> he was then arrested on numerous charges, including an active felony warrant related. Warrant. Warrant related to the illegal discharge of a firearm from a vehicle, three counts of threatening to harm a public servant, and two counts of felony criminal mischief. Roberts is currently in jail on a seventy thousand bond. Seventy thousand dollars for a two for for joyriding on the lawn. On July twenty seventh, one day before his thirty first birthday, Robert took a similar joyride. On the same one, after officers told him he couldn't park his SUV on the sidewalk at the detention center entrance, <coughs> it's according to WTSP, cops told him to move the vehicle. He refused, though he eventually com complied by backing the SUV down the walkway, hitting, hitting a bench, speeding around the lawn, and almost hitting the patrol car in the process. And, that's and then he hit a flagpole. And then officers charged with criminal mischief and re-arresting an officer without violence. And... And again and again. And, and that is what he looks like. That's can what I he, show them? That's why I said show them ew. Through. That's what he looks like, yeah. Another story from Florida. Florida. Right, Grandma? Mm. Well, Grandma, you read both of the stories this week from the Culture Report. Why does he look so ugly? Because he lives in Florida. I hope he doesn't watch this so he doesn't come and kill me. I, Grandma, he wouldn't know where to begin to find you. You know that. So, Grandma, are you ready for the next one? You've been waiting for this one because I know you what? like this one. What? It's time for Critique Seats. Yes, Grandma said it in unison. How about that? She woke up. This is where we're going to give Grandma a sample of a food she's never had before. And then I get to eat bring my salsa. Yeah, she's got her own Plus homemade... Burritos! This burritos! Is, yeah, but that's your own... Anyway, I forgot this, my burritos! This, Grandma, right you don't have burritos. Yes, I do. Oh, Grandma. I only cooked one day. Okay, so we're going to get Grandma back on track here. She's got the Teeksies. We've got her some multi-grain corn tortilla chips. But these are the healthy kind with black seed and broccoli seed and radish seed. All kinds of Nine stuff in here. Had enough of the intro music? Yep. This is where Grandma's going to give us a sample of what she thinks. So I made my chips. homemade burrito, but now I'm going to eat this with my salsa. <laughs> All right, so Grandma's trying these these uh, multi-grain. They, they've got all kinds of good stuff in it. You've got a little of your... I heard you made your own homemade salsa once, Grandma. Is that true? No. I heard you made your own salsa and you put gunpowder in it, correct? Yes, don't... Mm -hmm. You did put gunpowder in it. And you tried to sell it. What are in here? Broccoli seeds. Mm-hmm. Gross. Well, that's healthy stuff. Um, well, they only taste good with salsa. Well, aren't most chips taste good? Doesn't salsa go with anything? That's what I think so. Grandma, you do, you do too. I salsa? Hear, um, I want to hear more about... I want to hear more about your gunpowder salsa that you make. That's so powerful and hot. And why? What kind of special ingredients besides gunpowder do you put in it? Mmm. Well, do you guys know what the hottest pepper in the world is? I know it. I've heard it before, but I can't remember. What is it? That is what I put in there. We don't remember what it is, but that's what you put in there. Okay. But back to these chips. What do you think of these chips? How do they taste with the salsa? Tastes good with salsa. Are they crunchy and not stale? Mm -mm. Not stale? Mm-hmm. So would you, sir, would you recommend people get these chips? These multigrain with the flax seed and the the uh, what do they call it here the, the the broccoli seed and radish seed and just all kinds of stuff on it. Mm -hmm. Well, if you like Tostito chips, it's pretty much the same thing, mm -hmm. but with stuff inside and they have no flavor. So, so the salsa. So pretty much it tastes just like the chip with 
salt and with salsa. So you'd recommend these, yes, but only with salsa. Mm -hmm. Good. There, there, there. She's holding it up. Okay. Maybe we could get them as a sponsor. Wouldn't that be good, good, Grandma? They use milk and soy. Yeah. So you can't drink that, and you can't eat them. Ah. Well, Grandma, I, I don't think you know, but do you know how many people are, are listening to you on an average podcast? Nope. Over 550. I need more. You need more? Well, I'm sure more people will tune in as we go by. But you know what else people like to hear from you the most since you're mm. so smart and have such a great history? <laughs> what? Life advice from Grandma Matata. Or life advice from Grandma Hamung Hakuna Matata. Whichever you want to go by, okay? So, do you have some important advice this week? What important advice do you have for us this week, Grandma? Mm. Don't get flowers, um, flower tattoos on your left arm. Why not get flower tattoos on your left arm? <laughs> She's looking at my tattoo I have, which is an infinity sign of a, of a uh, sunflower. Do you know why I have that? Because the infinity sign for good... And then the sunflower, because the sunflower always points towards the sun. That's the kind of people I like to try to hang around. People who are always positive. I'm never positive. Oh, why, yes. You're such a downer, Grandma. You're such a horrible person. That's why I make you eat stale chips. Right? He's not a positive person if he got a tattoo. Now, what is your theory on tattoos? Give your life advice on tattoos, when Grandma. When you die, your bones have the tattoos on their bones. No, you're... Yeah, they do. It sinks to your skin. Well, what's wrong with that? That when you die, your bones have the tattoo on them because it sinks all the way through your bones. Well, so what you're saying is... He... <laughs> and what proof do you have of this, Grandma? And tattoos make you immature and they make you look stupid. Well, Grandma, I'm curious now. How many tattoos do you have? You have a smiley face one in a circle. I have zero. You have zero tattoos? Grandma, that's some strange philosophy. I'm only 12. 150 years old. Uh-huh. You're not 12 years old. Grandma, all right. One last bit of life advice before we hit the closeout music? Mm-hmm. What is it? What would be the last bit of life advice? Those, those chips are pretty good, aren't if they? If anyone is listening and you have a tattoo, it's not my problem. You have one? You're okay if you have one, because I don't know what it looks like, but I have a problem with this one. Stranger, Grandma. Stranger danger. Gra Grandma. He, he. Tattoos are not a sign of stranger danger. Grandma, we've been doing it. We've got over 20 podcasts we've done. You are so... Grandma, you didn't take your medicine today. That's it, right? Oh, Grandma, I'm going to hit the cue out music. This has been the Shiny Squirrel Podcast with Grandma Matata, who apparently forgot to take her medication again as she tries to lick salsa off the plate. <laughs> Any last words, Grandma? Yeah, Grandma's eating the paper plate because she has uh, pretty much didn't take her medication today, right? Uh, say goodbye, Grandma. Not your head, yes. Bye.